Hi everyone, this is Vlad from Modulus Render and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about how to make a white studio to showcase your furniture using SketchUp and Enscape. I recently had a project where my client wanted me to make a white studio for them to showcase their, uh, their furniture. So I want to show you guys how I did that. Something like this, uh, where I wanted to have very, very soft shadows um, in the scene. So it, it's something like this, right? So I want to show you guys how I did this in, uh, in Enscape. Now, for this tutorial, you're going to need a little bit of Photoshop, and I'll explain why. The scene looks like this. We'll go through what each light does. But first, let's jump into Photoshop and do uh, two things. So I got my Photoshop open here. And the first thing we're going to do is create a white HDRI image. So this image is to mimic a white dome around our scene. Uh, and we can control its intensity uh, from within uh, Enscape. So First of all, you're going to have to make um, an image that is our pixels. So this one is 6,000 by 3,000 pixels. Uh, the ratio has to be 2 by 1. So I went with 6,000 by 3,000 and just fill it up with white because the white in... Uh, this situation has a greater intensity than than a normal white in 8 bit so it's very important that this image is in 32 bit right so this is very important for an HDRI to have uh, light information within this color so we just do a, a file that is 32-bit, fill it up with white, and the ratio is important also, so 6,000 by 3,000. And then uh, we're going to need a ground plane that will be basically invisible to the camera. Um, we need a white studio, so the center of the image will be white, and then it will fade to black. and uh, we're going to use this image as uh, transparency also. So this is basically uh, a white rectangle and then over here behind me I put an effect gradient, a circular gradient uh, overlay. So it's gradient. This is the simple gradient from white to black. Make it radial. Right? And that's about it. Just save these. Save this as in JPEG. And this one is an HDRI image or an XR. Right, whichever works. And we're going to use these inside of Enscape. Close it now. So I've imported my image, exploded it, so it's a material. This one, ground plane. And let's just jump into Enscape and see what we have. I'll just hide all of the lights. to leave it like this. Okay, smaller. Now 
And a lot of people have been asking me how I keep this window on top. So I, I just use a little free software. It's called Always on Top or uh, Turbo Top. So this one. And as you can see, it went behind this window. So you just have to, uh, this is the program always on top. Just have to uh, press control space to keep, to keep this window on top. So just control space and then it's on top and it stays there. So we have this scene and the settings are pretty important. So I'll just walk you through uh, all of the settings here. Uh, first of all, the, the field of view, I put it to 33 degrees because I didn't want a really wide angle. I wanted something like this. And let's start with sky. So first of all, uh, we have the sky box ticked. Right? It doesn't matter. It does matter. Huh. So we have the white background um, active. We have the sky box. We put the white dome HDR. And, well, yeah, it matters because now uh, we can control the lighting of the a HDR. Right? With this slider. So darker or lighter. Depending on what we need and how the scene looks. So you can play around with that. And because we are changing the intensity, it's good to have white background uh, activated so it will look clean. Now the problem here is that the shadows are too harsh and we can see the sides, the, the ending of our little disk texture, right? You can see the line there. I'll show you in textures how the ground plane material looks like. So it's basically uh, the ground plane is this texture and I've faded it to a complete white. And then for the transparency, I've used the same texture as an opacity map. So uh, the sides, the margins of this ground plane will, will fade, will be transparent. And I move the, I move the specular up so it will catch a little bit more light. That's basically it not a big deal but see it's transparent on the sides and then it gets more and more opaque but we still can see the horizon line over there and this is where the um, uh, the lights come in because I need it's disappearing so like this I need some lights around the border here so it will make my uh, horizon line or the ending line more invisible let's turn on the lights i've basically put these lights sphere lights in a circle around the scene and as you can see let me just turn them on and off They have this effect on the on the horizon line, right? It disappears, it brightens up the whole scene, and it brightens up my shadows. This is what the, the sphere lights are doing. And the intensity see, is right here. I like to have a lot of control over the intensity of each light. So that's why I used an HDRI a white dome light over the scene. And I can uh, play around with the inten intensity of that. I have control over the intensity of the sun from the settings. So uh, from here, 
I can choose to have harder shadows or uh, I mean more visible shadows or more um, gradient shadows like this but, or even no shadows from the sun and then you see I have this uh, let's say ambient uh, shadows which are generated by these lights this doesn't stay on top so uh, these lights for example if I delete them you'll see this shadow disappear because like this there's no uh, ambient shadow there's a little bit of contact shadow over here you see that little bit of a shadow now that I turned off the Sun and Now with these lights, these disc lights, arranged a little bit random like that to have some softness and uh, basically multiple shadows that are intersecting and creating this, this sort of cloud underneath the, the chair. This is the, the ambient shadow that I was looking for. So just show you the in intensity of each of disc lights like that. Then from settings, I can have some sun shadow, or so maybe 20%. Now, if we look around, uh, there's no horizon line. There's nice shadows, I would say, nice soft shadows uh, to showcase our chair here. This, by the way, is one of my favorite chairs. It's designed by Jean Prouvé. And it looks great. Uh, from the settings menu, another thing I did is bring down all the effects. So no bloom, no lens flare, no vignette, no chromatic aberrations, because these tend to be very visible when there's like a white background or white and bright uh, background uh, so you can see them here this kind of a distortion of the color around the con contours of the object so no chromatic aberration no nothing just simple basic white studio and we can um, rotate our object, look around, uh, up, down, wherever. Um, it still looks good and it's clean. Another thing I noticed is whenever there's a lot of bright white lights, the, the image or the colors tend to be more desaturated. So I've increased the saturation of the image here to 120%. It's not a lot, but you'll see that the colors tend to fade when there's a lot of bright lights uh, shining on them. So just increase the saturation, not too much, of course, just a little bit. 120% should be fine. And then I think that's it. As far as the um, settings go, Oh, and uh, I didn't connect the sun to the HDRI. So brightest point as sun direction is not activated. So this way I can uh, move around my sun or my shadow wherever I want. Independent from the, the sky dome or the white dome. And this is basically it. It's very simple. You just need a little bit of Photoshop. But then whatever furniture you have, you can just put it here in the middle. And you have a white studio, simple white studio to showcase uh, your models, um, your clients models, whatever the case may be. And it renders super fast. So.
Now this is the final render that I did using this technique. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. As a bonus, you'll find in the description below um, a link for the 3D model of this scene. And you can just put in your uh, model, your furniture, whatever, and start rendering. I'll see you in the next tutorial.